Hello everyone. Welcome to the module two and the lesson three of our Spring Security course. So in this course, uh, in this lesson, I'm going to talk about a Remember Me service and the uh, the integration and the support that has been provided by the Spring Security. And Remember Me in if in in itself is a very interesting feature, and I'm very sure you might have noticed it on uh, on many of the e-commerce or the other applications even on Gmail or other uh, your email providers. So you have a small checkbox which says remember this computer, remember me, right? And the next time when you get into that site, uh, you will not, you there will be auto login, you will be automatically logged in. There are certain conditions uh, where in certain conditions you might, um, there will not be an auto login, right? So we will look into all those details, uh, what happens and how, how all those things works internally. So remember me is kind of a, it's a part of the authentication process where if you do that, uh, if you select that option, do a login, there will be a cookie uh, that will be generated by the system and there are different mechanisms how uh, the cookies are being generated and that cookie will be stored into your browser. Okay. And next time when you get into that site, that cookie will be read by the system and if it's a valid, if it's still not expired, you will be auto login into the system, all right? So we will be looking into more details about those things. So in terms of the spring security, as I said, there are two different kind of uh, approaches or different kind of uh, supports provided by spring security. One is a cookie based. I'm going to talk about uh, that in more details and in fact, this uh, specific lesson is focused on to the cookie based uh, remember me service and then there is a database persistent login uh, tokens uh, so the difference between those two are the cookies are only generated onto the memory on the fly and will be stored into your browser whereas the database persistent uh, cookies or the token it will be generated stored into the database and then the cookie will be stored onto your browser all right now as I said, right, I'm going to focus on the cookie based remember me service and then the next lesson I'm going to talk about how to use the database backed uh, integration. So it on a high level, it uses certain information. For example, it uses a username, it uses a password, there is an expiry time and there is a key. With all those with all those combinations, it generates a cookie and store into your browser. And your password is not a plain password it's the encoded password that is being stored into the system okay and as i said there are certain limitations right so the cookie which is stored into your browser and which triggers all these auto login process uh, it there is a there is an expiration time so cookie is valid until unless there is an expiration time uh, it's no it's within that expiration time or let's say if you have changed your password, right? Username, most of the application will not allow you to change the username, but all application allows you to change a password. So if you change your password, your remember me cookie, though it might be valid, but uh, that will become invalid. The reason is because as, if you look into point two, it uses certain information to create that cookie. And when it validated, it, it looks into all those details. And from the spring security perspective, for both the approaches, cookie based and the database persistent, it needs a user detail service. If you are not aware of that one, I'm adding a link. Uh, just go through that one. It's it's really critical. All right. And the the reason why spring security you needs a user detail service is the same. It needs a password right and it, it it needs a certain information so in order to get the password it needs to load the user data the moment you set remember me uh, or it generates a cookie it use that information to find out the user fetch the information uh, user information from the database uh, and that's the reason why it needs that one all right the last thing before we get into the code base is uh, the cookie based uh, remember me service is not a very recommended approach and the reason is there are uh, there are quite challenges or a drawback of those ones and one of them is let's say if someone get hold of the cookie since it's an in memory cookie right there is no storage into the database against which it will be validated so let's say you generated a cookie and i get hold of that cookie until unless uh, 
uh, that expiry time is met for that cookie or I explicitly change my password anyone else have an access to that cookie will be able to get into the uh, uh, to do a login on behalf of you right and that's a kind of a security issue and it's always recommended that you should always use a database uh, a persisted remember me surface all right so let's get into the code all you have to do is and then remember me service right okay now as i said you have to basically provide a user detail service and if you remember from our previous discussions we will be using the i can use simply as a user detail service so that's all you need in order to use the cookie based um, remember me service and the other thing is uh, normally spring security will automatically identify your user detail service probably you don't need to use that uh, as well i'm just adding it for the clarity purpose but if you just use this line it should be more than sufficient now there are other things uh, before we get into the more details okay you can always define your authentication success handler uh, let's say you want to set a specific domain you can always do that uh, you can all uh, you can add some other parameters for example if you don't want to set the uh, the validation uh, to a different period that other than what spring security is setting for you you can always do uh, you can always set those details okay so that's all you need all right. the other thing which we have to do is i'm adding this checkbox here and if you pay an attention the name of this checkbox is remember me that is required because spring security internally going to use this parameter uh, in order to set the correct cookies for for us okay so let's go ahead and start the application okay let's go to our login page and you see this small checkbox remember me right so what i'm going to do is okay before that let's look into the cookies so you see there are two cookies right dummy cookie which we created in our earlier lesson and then j session id is the uh, it's being generated by our application server right so let's quickly fill all the details so i have filled all the details right so now i am logged into the system so let's look into the look our cookies again okay now you see we have a dummy cookie we have a j session id and we have a remember me service right and there are a certain things for example uh, the uh, remember the cook the expiration for this cookie is september 21st right uh, there is some value being generated and that's the that's the hash value that is being generated based upon a certain parameters now in order to see if uh, it's working fine or not what i'm going to do is uh, if you remember from our previous discussions j session id is the one which holds the session information right if this is lost uh, that means you will be logged out but since we have a remember me service right the whole idea about the remember me service is if this cookie is present uh, your your next login will be an auto login process because your authentication information will be uh, kind of uh, picked from the remember me cookie right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete the j session id let's do a low refresh right and if you see we have another j session id but the interesting thing is i was not logged out uh, sorry i was not logged out now let's do our standard logout okay and now see the cookies right right now there is only one cookie which is a j session id but our remember me cookie is gone all right uh, so that's given an idea how the remember me service works and in the next lesson, I'm going to talk about the more secure or the recommended approach where we will be using uh, the Spring built-in features to generate and store the token into the database and cookie will be created uh, and stored into your local browser. I hope that will give you an idea how to implement a, a Remember Me service uh, for your Spring security application. If you like this uh, tutorial and if you like this channel, Please don't forget to subscribe.